What is going on, Freak Show? This video is a little bit old, but I wanted to get it out to you anyways because I did something special for my wife and I wanted to share it and I, I felt like a such a good hubby. And I just want to let you guys know that this was uh, before I got really used to talking to you guys on the microphone. So I sound a little bit bored or nervous or something, but that's what's going on. So I hope you guys like the video. Here we go. Step right up. Why, hello. Well, first of all, I'm playing as my wife's character. I bought her that car. Um, she already knew about that. But right now, I'm trying to find her some apartment or something. And I want to do this before she gets home. And I don't know when she's going to be coming home, so let's hope that I can do this before she gets home. Yeah, let's do it. Trade that in. Okay. Yeah, actually, I I did used to live there. Um, one of my older videos that I used to record with ca a camera um, has me parachuting, but I, I missed my driveway because <laughs> I I meant to land at my place, but I landed on at somebody else's place, and then I shot my friend down. Hey, what? Get ready to fly, okay? Okay. <laughs> Free from the mother curses. <laughs> oh crap, oh crap. I'm landing in the wrong yard. <laughs> Ow. What did Oh my. <laughs> Oh! Mm. <laughs> oh crap, where'd I go? Oh. Yeah, I need a ride. <laughs> it's one of the older videos, like really old videos, so. Uh, yeah. But, anyways. Home sweet home for my wifey. I found this awesome glitch. Okay. Drive up to that driveway right there. Pull in the driveway. Go up to the garage. Oh. Now walk in the house. Not that way. This way? Uh-huh. Welcome to your GTA home. Is it mine? Yeah. You bought it? Yeah. You bought me a house? Yes. It's mine. Yup. Hubby! <laughs> What'd you do that for? Because I felt like it. Because you love me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. I don't, I don't get to get you much in real life because of our situation, but at least I could do this and get you that car. Yeah. yeah. And I can drink whiskey. I love you. You're so stupid. I know. Guys, I know it wasn't something super significant that I did. I bought my wife a GTA apartment. Wow. whoop de doo Yeah, what a great person I am, right? What a low life. Now the thing is, my wife and I have been going through a bunch of crap. We had to leave our apartment, we're here living in a basement, and I've been jobless for over two months. And she's been, she's been the only one working, and every single time she gets a paycheck it's gone within a couple days because we have to pay so many bills that either we owe or the bills are just high. And it has sucked so bad. Countless times I've seen on Facebook somebody talking about their significant other taking them out to dinner or doing something like extravagant with them or something like that or 
somebody talking about taking their significant other out and doing something special for them while I'm sitting here and can't really do anything because there's no money to do anything with. And then we end up having to borrow money or get food from somebody or go to the pantry and get free food. It sucks. A good bit of information is that I am officially starting my job Monday. I started my job on Thursday doing orientation. So hopefully this struggle is almost over. But the message of this video is simple. Do whatever you can to let your significant other know that you love them. Whether it's something as stupid as buying them a GTA apartment or a GTA car or something that is big as taking them to another country. Whatever you can that is in your power, even writing them a little note telling them that you love them, do whatever you can to let them know that they are loved. Do whatever you can. Whatever you can, whatever is in your power, and do not get jealous of other people who are more able than you are to do like the big and grand things that cost a bunch of money. Do not get jealous. Do whatever you can. Because it, it's been said so many times, it is the thought that counts. And it really is. It is the thought that counts. If your significant if your significant other if your significant other appreciates you enough they will love whatever you do for them. They will love to know that you love them. They will love to know that you thought of them. Keep this in mind guys. But keep God first. And always Always let your significant other know that they are significant to you, that you love them. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys keep an eye on the channel because I am doing a Farewell to JF Games episode coming up. Don't know when, but uh, I kind of wanted some closure on it. wanted to say a uh, you know farewell to it. I wanted to give it a good send-off. I know it's been gone for a while, but I felt that it was right to do. So keep your eyes on this channel for that. And uh, also keep your eyes on the channel for other content. Subscribe if you like the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Be lights of the world. Be Jesus freaks. Remember, keep God first. And always let your significant other know that they are significant to you. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.